right. Now it is time for Borderlands 3. You guys ready? Oh, I love the enthusiasm. All right. Please welcome from Gearbox, Paul Sage. Hello, Paul. Hey, Jeff. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. You've been traveling around the world. There's oh. so much Borderlands stuff going on, but we don't have to wait much longer for this. Uh, coming in September, September 13th. So uh, let's talk Borderlands 3. First of all, um, the campaign. I know last week a lot of previews went up. Influencers, press got to play it. Um, so we got a little footage of campaign we're going to talk about first before we get to talking about the end game, which we're very excited <laughs> right. about. Um, but tell us a bit about uh, the campaign and sort of what you guys have shared recently on Borderlands 3. All right, all right so, so we showed off about four hours of just the beginning gameplay where you start on Pandora. Yeah. And then we moved on to Eden 6, which is a new planet uh, we've never showed off before. And we tell this kind of heartwarming story yeah. of two AIs uh, who fall out of love and one AI who's a jilted lover takes and shoves the other AI just straight up into a pink plush bear uh, who is voiced by none other than the charismatic Ice-T. There you go, Ice-T, all right, in Borderlands 3, of course, right? Yeah. Um, now, uh, you've got obviously amazing characters play with Flack. I mean, people are super excited about what you've shown kind of on campaign. And the thing, though, that everyone want is always curious now, I know it's kind of silly to be talking about the end game before the game's even out. But folks want to know, you know, what's the challenge? What, are, you know, what, what can you tell us about the end game for Borderlands 3? All right, so all this week and probably next week and a few yeah. more weeks, we're going to be talking about end game. Yeah. The first two things we're going to talk about, the first yeah. one is called a Circle of Slaughter. Okay. We're bringing back yes. Circle of yeah. Slaughter yeah. from Borderlands, yep. right? And it's just this wave after wave survival mechanic of fighting off enemies. And the cool thing about this is that, you know, the more you survive, the better your rewards are. Mm -hmm. And there's more, though, right? Uh, there is more. Okay. So we're announcing something called Proving Grounds. Okay. Okay, Proving Grounds starts off with the Iridians, yes. right? Yes, for the share, right? Yeah, yeah, we're showing off, uh, you know, a little bit of the Proving Grounds here. Yes. Okay. And the nice thing is you have to go throughout the game and discover Iridian writing. This is this ancient alien race. Yep. And then you find the coordinates to planets once you kind of decipher all these things. And then you find out that you can take a mission uh -huh. from this Iridian that you see here, and the mission has different objectives in it, right? So it's got one, which is kill everything, because Borderlands, course, yeah. and then it's got optional objectives, uh -huh. like don't die, all right? Do it within a certain amount of time, yeah. and kill a certain thing. So you can I can see, see all the, yeah. Yeah, you can see the optional objectives right here. Yep. And then the nice thing about the optional objectives is that if you do those optional objectives, at the end, we have a chest and the loot gets better, the, how the optional objectives play out. So if you're really good, you'll get the best loot in the game. Super replayable, obviously, for people to kind of uh, get the challenge. It's all about replayability yeah. at this point, yeah. Awesome, well, that's amazing. And so time-based, obviously, going through there um, with you and right. your friends and having an amazing time. So this, obviously, the Proving Grounds, this is one map. Are there multiple Proving Grounds, obviously? Yeah, there's yeah. about seven different Proving yeah. Grounds scattered throughout the game. Or actually, sorry, I said seven, I meant six, but you know, words. Okay. Uh, I'm sure there'll be more <laughs> down the road. Right. But, uh, all right, so that's, and there's, I'm sure there's probably even more in-game, or? Uh, <laughs> there's all sorts of in-game. You know, yeah. again, like I said, we're going to talk about it more. Uh, we have something called Guardian Rank, which is, if you play Borderlands 2, it's like Badass Rank 2.0. Yeah. We'll be talking a lot about that. So, yeah, a lot of stuff coming up. All right, well, we don't have to wait long for Borderlands 3, but it's so awesome to see Proving Grounds. Uh, and when can we check it out, Paul? Uh, you will be able to check it out on Friday the 13th. That's yes. September 13th, 2019. I hope everybody is there. Oh, yeah, and I'm sure you're going to have it playable here at Gamescom, so everyone will be checking Absolutely. it out, right? Yeah. All right, yeah. Borderlands 3, the guys from Gearbox. Paul, thank All you right. so much. Thanks again. Kick it off Gamescom with us. Really appreciate it. All right.